my friends, and the vegan, the new pea soup. That is one of my favorite soups. I have frozen peas here. They are frozen, just from the freezer. And I will uh, fill um, just boiled water on top. I show you that they have the perfect temperature in the soup. It should still be a raw soup because the boiling water and together with the frozen peas come up to a temperature that is still raw, considered raw. So, <laughs> with a grain of salt, of course. Yeah, every, every, always. Yeah. Now, um, the thing today is, well, this is one of my favorite soups, yeah, the pea soup, it's called five minute pea soup. Um, that's really nice and takes just five minutes to make because of the, uh, the easy ingredients. And I will do now a certain um, variation with mint leaves and chili pepper, hot chili pepper. Yeah, I will show you. I will just fill the ingredients into the blender and that's how it works. First, I have one and a half cups oof, of peas, one and a half cups, frozen peas. Yeah. Then I have a, a small handful of cashews. Yeah, has to be a little more creamy. The peas on their own are not that good uh, to blend. And uh, then we have a mousse um, with the cashews that is a more creamy, and I want a creamy soup. And also for the creaminess, I found it very nice to have half an avocado here. Not too much, just half an avocado. Yeah, that makes a really a nice texture, both creamy and also fluffy a little bit. It's all about texture more here. Yeah? And a little bit of the flavor because fat always carries the flavors. So always good to have a little bit of fat. Because the cashews, they have some fat, but uh, avocado here really helps. Or you can also take coconut oil. But avocado, I like it better um, a little bit. So this is um, now the base, yeah, with the peas, the cashews, and the avocado. Yeah. Now the seasoning that is here. This, the, the base here would be pepper and salt. And yes, I always put a little uh, piece of onion into the peas. That's very nice. Onion and peas go nice together. And now the specialty here is the chili pepper. This is special today in this soup. Here, red chili pepper. This is maybe a half of a chili pepper or maybe a whole, a small one, not too hot. And I, I remove the seeds. I seeded the chili pepper and that goes all in. That is pepper and salt, onion, a small piece, and red chili pepper. And together with the mint now, I put half a lemon in. Yeah, I guess that would be nice together, together with the fat. Yeah, a quarter of a lemon. The large lemon, I have a quarter here, without the peel, of course. And the tips of mint leaves, of a mint, the stems are on the tops, very tender, so you can take the stems from the tips of the mint leaves, you can take them as well. And I begin with um, not all of it, maybe it's a, bit, a little bit too much. I leave some maybe for extra seasoning. You see, this is what I left. Yeah. Some of the um, mint leaves have been left and the lemon goes in a quarter. So this is what I have now here. See, this is um, the blender filled until to, to here and I have to fill the hot water with the boiling water until here maybe a centimeter over the frozen peas just until here that should be the perfect texture now this water has cooked maybe five minutes ago so it's hot and not cooking anymore I will just put as I show the centimeter or so above the frozen peas not too much gets too runny then yeah, about a centimeter above the frozen peas. That is my measurement. I will see what happens after the blender dance. I can always adjust. Blender dance. fresh mint in the garden and it grows like wild so I wanted to do something with the mint 
And then I came to the idea, the idea came to me to make a pea soup. Somehow I would like a pea today. That is the way I sometimes I choose my recipes for the day. Um, I always eat it also myself, of course. So every day a new recipe. Then uh, sometimes I feel, for example, like eating a, a pea. Well, this is what happened today. And I see it is a little bit firm, thick, so I might add a little bit of water. But first I try the flavor. Well, not bad the texture, not, not bad. Let's see. Mmm, wow. Ah, <clears throat> I love it. The first time, honestly, I put lemon into it. I can go very nice with, with, with ginger, actually. Uh, no, with, with, uh, with the mint. Um, and yes, yes, it's a very nice, a little bit more water, not too much. A very nice combination. It's a warm, round, um, I don't know. Put some more mint leaves in. <laughs> so one more letter ends. I guess the texture should get I guess it should get the right texture right now. <laughs> Looks and sounds very nice here from outside the blender. Yes, this is the texture I prefer. Now the flavor. Flavor check. Mmm, mmm, refreshing, mint and lemon, chili of course, not too much at all, pepper and salt to, to taste of course, yeah, yeah, that's up to you, a little bit more or less salt and pepper, very nice, every, everything here, i show you what it looks like, I fill it into a glass, it's a nice way to eat a soup, why not, drink it from a glass, texture is perfect, you see, that's how I like my creamy pea soup, mmm, and there it is, my new creation for the day. So, mint, chili, piece of it is for the day. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed it. So thumbs up, maybe you want to subscribe and leave me on YouTube, have another recipe every single day, and find me on Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, and Twitter.